Hey everyone, it is Crystal with Pineapple Papers and I am so excited to be joining this Grab 5. So our items today I am showing you. So it's punches and stickers and flare and washi and multiple photos. So um, a couple of ladies started this series last month and invited me to join, which was so sweet. And I am so excited because I love the Grab 5 Challenge. So the other ladies um, doing this are Becky and Moira and Amy, Kelsey, Shannon, Katie, and Lisa. So I will have their description or their links in the description box below. So make sure you check those out. So today I am working with the Gather Collection, and my son was in his friend's quinceanera this year, and so she had this beautiful pink dress, and I was like, oh, that's so perfect to use this swan paper, and I didn't get it because, let's be honest, I do not have a ton of photos that scream swans. Maybe in the future and I'll regret it, but I'm thinking probably not. Look, I have it in a six by six if I need it later. So the first two big pictures is the big group of them as well as just the boys. And then at the reception, they do this like dance and um, the girl whose quinceanera it was, she choreographed the whole thing. So all these kids were coming over and doing um, practice over the summer. And so I did get to snap a picture of Lucas dancing with his partner. So that's pretty fun. And then I grabbed the little ballerinas. I'm not implying that my son was a ballerina or anything, but they are dancing. So I thought it was appropriate. And I'm going to put that on the bottom. So I am going to make three clusters. Now my top cluster on top of the dancing photo is basically just going to be that beautiful acetate flower. But it's not going to be that one that's giving you that horrible glare. I'm sorry. It's this one that I am trading out for right now. Um, I felt like it just filled that space a little bit more since that picture was smaller. Originally, I was going to use these pictures with a different sketch, I think. And so I cut them down. And so that's why they're kind of odd sizes. But it actually does end up working out in the end. And I do like how that looks. So I'm going to make a bigger cluster up on the top left with that tag and just a little piece of paper. And now I'm focusing on the five things. I kind of have the idea of my layout. I have the multiple photos. So that part's done. So now I need to focus on my five items. So I am using my tab punch for the punch part. And I love this thing. Like, I don't use a lot of punches, but I really like this one. And so I decide to use this floral piece from the cut apart sheet, but it's not quite big enough and that's okay. So I just tucked it back behind that uh, tag there. So then I dug into my washi tape, which I was actually very excited that washi tape was on this challenge because I hardly ever use washi tape. It sits in a very pretty container and looks pretty in my room, but I don't tend to use it. So I pulled two pieces out. One is this ombre pink and the other is this kind of gold polka dot. And I am going to use that in two places. So I have kind of that ephemera piece up top that looks like it has pink washi tape on it already. So I will actually go ahead and just add a piece of that gold washi tape to the top of that and give it kind of a layered effect. Now, I don't know why I decided to glue my photos down and then attempt to slip all of my ephemera underneath, um, but that's how I am gluing today. So, <laughs> um, nothing gets bent. I, I, I was actually quite impressed with myself, like 
getting all of those pieces up. So I feel like I'm doing pretty good. I've got the multiple photos. I have the washi. Um, so the next thing I need to focus on um, is sticker, or and I have my punch. So I got to get stickers and flare. So I don't actually have very much flare. Um, so I have these two flare pieces that I got at the Secret Not Secret retreat. Um, and one of them is a black and white heart. Um, so that totally fits. And those are from Scrap and Happy Studio. And they are so cute. So it comes with a little foam piece on the back, but I decided I just wanted it to be flat. So that pops off really easily. And I can pop that cute little heart down. So then I am on to stickers. And I'm like, yes, I've got this. No worries. So I only pull a few stickers. I'm going to pull this floral, which is going to go up in that top cluster, which is basically the same as the acetate floral, but it's just completely black and white. And then um, I am going to pull this swan again with the swans. <laughs> and um, I'm going to pull a couple of uh, of the word phrases. So I'm going to pull the love this to bring in some more of that black and um, another one that says blessed, I believe. And um, this one, if I stop being indecisive, I could probably tell you what it says. <laughs> I really liked it. Um, it says this day was a gift. And so I really wanted it to be on there. I just had to find a place. So that is going to do it for me, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this process. I hope you are enjoying this new series. I did go ahead and add a title of Happy Day um, off camera because I felt like it needed a little something else. So make sure you check out everybody else. And we will see you next month for the next Grab 5. Remember to wear your crown. Bye.